Here, Don and Ben are joined by their friend Tim as the three herpetologists go road cruising in Louisiana's Hachafalaya swamps at night. Road cruising is a good way to find frogs, snakes, and other reptiles and amphibians that come out at night in warm weather. You can cover a lot of ground when driving along backcountry roads, and you can see animals moving in your headlights. Nobody but nobody finds more frogs in the hood of a car than Tim. <laughs> Tim's on the hood of the car. He's our spotter. What did Tim find now? Tim's always <laughs> found something <laughs> cool for us he to look at. Let us find What's anything? Tim got? Same thing. Oh, it looks oh. like another one of the mystery Lithobates frogs. We've seen that could... too many times tonight. <laughs> nice job, Tim. Get Thank you, Tim. The team can also hear vocal calls and sounds of the nocturnal swamp, offering clues to an animal's location, giving our hosts a chance to find them. Trying to find the adult male eastern narrowmouth toad, Gastrophrini carolinensis. It's got a very distinctive bleeding call with a lot of projection, as you'll be able to tell. Probably right in front of us. Since we haven't seen any tree frogs yet, it's pretty exciting to check out the large towpads. That's Lithobates clematons, otherwise known in these parts as the bronze frog. So this is uh, the frog that we're hearing. That's that's Hylocinaria, a common green tree frog. What are those black spots? No stripes. Yeah. Oh, stripes, man. This is uh, uh, Bufo Americ Americanus, or uh, lately been called Anaxorus Americanus, and otherwise known as the American toad. And, and again, I mean, just lo look at the variation in calls that we hear out here. This is incredible. I've never heard any of this before. That mosquito really hurts, actually. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. As you can see, there's a big green insect sitting here on Ben's hand, and this is a katydid. did. And uh, katydids are in the, are related to grasshoppers and crickets. And the bulk of the insect noise that you can hear in the background are due to these guys. Like, oh, that's awesome. very surprised because I came out here looking for snakes and we have all these wonderful frogs, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, always, it always holds true, you know, don't get too fixated on the one animal you've wanted to find because then you'll miss other great things that could be around that's you. That's true. You never know what you're going to find either. Never know.